today is a special day because we are in the last run up until the Waterloo Day, as we call it here. So it's W Day minus 100. In 100 days, it will be the official commemoration of the Battle of Waterloo. One reason why it's happening in London is because uh, the British won. And so it is important to bring to them uh, an important piece of history which took place on Belgian soil. We wanted to, to make it special to our audience of journalists and press and media and we wanted to make it special as well to the public of London. That's why we have uh, organised for night projection to be displayed on Wellington Arch, on the four sides of Wellington Arch for tonight. I think it's been a, a brilliant idea to project some of the images onto the Wellington Arch because it will make people say, what is that and why is it? And they will ask the question and we just hope they get the answer, which is that this is the bicentenary of the Battle of Waterloo. There are four of these uh, long reenactments, uh, shows, bivouacs and also small events. That's the first part for the general public and we are expecting more than 200,000 people during these four days. But moreover, we are preparing the battlefield for the future. And therefore, the new memorial of 6,000 square meters is very important to understand the battle uh, as it is today. For us, working with Waterloo, working with Belgium is about 200 years of legacy and that is very important. I, for myself, I'm also a reenactor. So I have fought at Waterloo. I am a 95th Rifleman, so we're a green jacket. We will be there this year supporting this fantastic event, which we are so looking forward to. It's going to be really special uh, for me, you know, because I was there for the 190th, going to be there for the 200th. It's only going to come around once. Um, yeah, and I can't wait. We have just published the first English language guide, the only one available to Waterloo, um, which uh, it's to coincide with the, the obviously the 200th anniversary of the, of the battle. It's a bit unlike any other book I think that's available about Waterloo. It's really about uh, what to do if you visit the battle site of Waterloo, um, not just um, the battle itself, but if you're staying a few nights in Waterloo, where, to, where you can stay, where you can eat, but also if you want to spend a few days longer, where you can travel to. I was here tonight mainly to talk about Napoleon's route to Wellington, which is going from the French border to uh, Waterloo, and following the steps that Napoleon took the four days before Waterloo, which is a touristic road where you can discover either historical things, but also pure touristic things outside of Napoleon and Wellington and all that stuff. Waterloo is special as well because it's the idea of being like an incubator of a redevelopment of European borders. And uh, the very existence of Belgium 15 years later is a consequence of Waterloo as well somehow. And also it is important in uh, today's history because uh, it is also the first attempt of an international alliance against a common enemy and uh, which would give root to NATO. We are also very well concerned in Belgium because we are also harboring the headquarters of NATO. Oh, it was maybe not a coincidence that when the French and the Germans don't have something to explain to one another it happens on Belgian soil. At the same way I think it's not a coincidence that the headquarters of the European Union today are in Belgium and I would like to say that the European Union is also and mainly an issue of reconciliation and reconstruction so it's very important to commemorate but also to think about the future. Mm -hmm.